it's too easy to quit any job. Challenge, opportunity. When you want something, you just go after it. I didn't know I was going to be a chief in the Special Force, to be honest. I joined the CAF in 1985 as a reservist. After being in, uh, in the reserve all summer, I kind of fall in love with the teamwork, the hard work, uh, being outside all the time. To be uh, the first woman RSM at Kent Softcom headquarters is a big accomplishment for me. And I took this as a great time for me to be a leader for the other woman that's going to follow me. So they know it's possible to be a chief one officer in those organizations that is usually more men than women. My big job is to look after people, the morale and welfare. Well, today it's our annual sports day, Kent Ofcom annual sports day, and usually it's to welcome all the new members. I believe in physical fitness every day. If you fit, you feel great, it's easy on the mental health to get the same way. A team building is very strong here. Even though you don't know the person has just arrived, this kind of day will right away make them a team. I want them to get out of the office and their workspace and come out and play. When I was attached with the CSOR, one of her main date was to go and help the Jamaican Special Force to deal with maintaining their equipment, accountability of the equipment. This is where you need to be strong in the front of another country. They were surprised it was a woman that will deal the whole thing. But one thing we have to remember, it is not about being a woman or being a man, it's about being able to deliver what the commander wants you to do. And if you can do that, a woman has place everywhere in the cap. You need to always remember as a leader, can I do it? Don't ask something that you cannot do. If they, I ask them to do 10 push-ups, I will be able to do 10 push-ups. I will ask something, but I can do it. You gotta take care of yourself physically and mentally. You can find a balance between military and your own life. It's easier to go through all those 33 years. The satisfaction in my career is to be able to reach the small percentage of women wearing the chief. 33 years later, I'm still in shape and I am still passionate with the Army. Being with Kent's Ofcom brought me so many good things and I have to admit it's the best time of my career. Nothing is impossible.